Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully I'm not too loud. Let's turn it down a little bit. Alright. What's going on? What is going on? Hey, day sculpt. What's up, dude? How are you doing, man? How's the voice sound, by the way? Because uh, I have a new whole mic set up. And it's been a while since I've streamed. <laughs> dude, amazing. Finally get two days off. Nice, nice. Sounds good. Nice, dude. Dude, that's awesome. Hello, hello, man. I'm not good with any other languages, but... Hello? Let's check Google Translate real quick. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Ah, hey, good morning, all. Cool, good morning, good morning. All right, we, so I'm just playing around tonight. So really tonight is just like me hanging out and and sculpting away. I got a lot of things I want to do with this dude. Let's actually move him up. Let's reset this real quick. Ooh, hold on. I think that'll do it. Let's see. That should be fine. Let's put him up above. All right. Okay, we're going to put this guy really far up right now, just because there's like all sorts of stuff. So I have this currently right now. He's not quite to scale yet, but still want to play a little bit more with him. I'm gonna get with the rocks a little bit too, but let's fix them. I just kind of did a light pose. Let's take it's like clay tubes. It's up a little bit. RGB down, do a light smooth. Yeah, hey, late night stream. Exactly. How you doing, man? <laughs> yeah, just like a random stream. I wanted to stream today, but I figured I'll just do it a little bit, a little bit later. How was everybody's weekend? Hopefully, uh. Those who had a holiday this weekend, hopefully it was a good holiday. Let's fix this right here. Some anatomy issues from posing. And I'm actually going to take, kind of make a scapula a little bit. That. It's the meaty portion of his back. There we go. Let's put this over here. He's not like super shredded or anything. He's just a funky little creature. I don't want to make him too, too ripped. Or muscular. Yeah, there we go. That's looking better. I have some pretty decent reference, too, that I'm pulling from. 
cool about this character is like this character design is just super fun. But I'm thinking about doing a taller version and then a white version. So let's see here. Yeah, okay. Actually, lower that down. Yep. Let's fit the cloth to him. Let's actually turn on back face mask too. Have a little bit of thickness. Hey, Peter! Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? How you came, buddy? I'm doing well. It's going. So making this little goblin dude from Breath of the Wild. There we go. Yeah, the scapula is reading a lot better now. Dude, it's been a while, man. How's life for you? Doing okay. First week back in class and it didn't go well. Just means I have to work harder this week. Oh, bummer, dude. But yeah, I mean, you know, first week. I was never a really good class person, <laughs> a school person. So first week was always a rough for me, man. So, hey, what's up, Skull Hat? How you doing, man? But yeah, don't let the first week discourage you, dude. You got this, brother. Get a little bit of a... Here. That and I just dumped 2200 on the AC unit last week. Oh, damn. I'm both I'm at work and working on our... Nice, man. Nice, dude. Oh, thanks for the follow, dude. Appreciate it. I don't have any of my stuff up right now. Because I haven't streamed this all, such a long time. But thanks, man. I appreciate it. Willpower! That's right. What's up, Snickles? Hello! I guess it's just the perks of homeownership. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. You wanted it, man. You wanted that home. All right. I could probably tweak this creature all night long, but I want to move back onto the rock stone talisman dude because uh, he's a lot of fun. Look at this guy. It's a nice place, <laughs> but the upkeep is killer. Yeah, I bet, dude. I bet. That's actually my fear of ever owning a home is like just knowing it's going to. You're going to always have to put into it, you know? All right. So I'm thinking this thing's going to be pretty tall, but he might only be like an inch in height in total when I actually print him. So, um, so with this guy, I'm going to make a couple different versions, but I think I might make a bust of him too. By the way, the light setup is looking good. Thanks, man. Actually, I got really lazy with this lighting, Peter. You're going to laugh, dude. 
But it's the same setup as so my work computer is now next to me since I work from home. I have my work computer, so I had to move the whole light and camera from my left side. I had to move that, so just got a webcam and then did some basic like uh, cleanup contrast adjustments and then left the lights alone and then just put a little ring light right up here. So really, I <laughs> got really lazy with it. But it's 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 pretty fun. I like it. I'm glad you like it, man. Right. Okay. I think for now we're gonna leave him. I'm gonna smooth this up a little bit. Put a few more wrinkles right in here on the back side of him. I learned that I actually really love sculpting wrinkles. I think they're super fun. I feel like there's so much expression in them. Honestly, you could use <laughs> an OBS to make really stand out, crush the blacks a little. Yeah, nice. You look like Peter Parker right now with your. <laughs> Is it really like uh, Spider Man 2 or 3? <laughs> I was using a cinema look pack uh, and working really well. Nice, man. Nice. Yeah, I got a. I used to have one uh, that I was doing, so I got to put it back. This is also like a temporary setup, and since I don't stream so often, I will. Uh, I get some time to play. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad you're not complaining. <laughs> been a while. Yeah, it's been yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, with work, uh, it started work and then started just like getting a chance to spend time with the kids and stuff like that. And then now like, I got want to actually like figure figure when. I could start like recording some YouTube videos. It's all getting back in the swing of things. It's pretty funny how like drastic things change when you go back to a nine to fiver. Some mostly for the, I mean, obviously mostly for the best, but. Okay. Now I got a bunch of wrinkles. I'm going to do a subtle subtle blend on some of these heavier spots figured you pop in a while while I'm waiting on class to start nice man well I appreciate that brother hopefully class treats you a little bit better this week I'm sure it will what up inspire yeah, I'm actually thinking about taking a break this after this term and going back to New England to visit for a week. Nice, dude. That'd be awesome. I'm working on my back tank thing. Nice, Skull. That's too awesome, dude. Need to hop on and see Brush later. Heck yeah, brother. Yeah, just a lot of work this week. Yeah, I feel you, man. Are you still with the uh, same company as before? thought about streaming nice man do it i encourage everybody to stream <laughs> there we go it's not to actually like paint this guy Haven't done that. Bruh, 
Work wise, yeah, same animation school too. Nice. So cool, brother. Actually, go up an RGB a little bit. Give like a little bit of uh, some fake SSS happening. So people can bully you real time. No, man. No, man. <laughs> no, man. Luckily, most people are nice, eh? Take that red. Let's actually do... A little bit of back face. Got some bleeding in coming in on the back side. <laughs> Get some highlights here. Isn't he adorable? He's just a cute little guy, isn't he? Alright, so we're gonna put him up here and have him kind of overlook us a little bit while we work on the rest of this. So right now I'm actually like fine-tuning and finessing the rocks a little bit and then I actually want to get more of uh, this built, more of details thrown in there. Let's see what we got. I found this really cool brush, by the way. Kind of stumbled across it looking on YouTube videos. Um, it's called Mallet Fast. It's really good for rocks. That loincloth. <laughs> right? Super, super fun. Go solo real quick. But yeah, check this out. This is a really cool brush. Hold Alt to add kind of details and then the rest kind of cuts. You can get some pretty neat little rock shapes happening pretty quickly. This is a fun brush. This is actually standard in ZBrush 2, which is cool. I didn't know that originally. And then that in a mix of orb, like hammer or extreme. Actually, that's a little too soft. Let's do. I need to do some cuts in here. And start getting a little bit of detail happening. Ryan! What up, buddy? How you doing, man? How goes it, brother? Carving in some of these guys. It's kind of cool. This almost looks a little bit like it would be his mouth. Not that he actually has one. That's actually the back of him. Funny. What's going Green 
change this. I'm starting to find rock sculpting very satisfying. You're good? I'm good too, man. I'm good. Just decided to do a little bit of a surprise stream. Just kind of jump on here and sculpt a little bit. Besides the fact that I said I would. <laughs> but I'm good, man. I'm really, really good. Actually, take the mullet, not mullet, mallet fast. Some detail here. Each polish as well. Clean up that edge a bit. So let's go. So let's turn on render. Let's do preview AO. Turn that down a little bit just so I can see a bit more of him. Yeah, that's better. Down a little bit. That's looking better. It's so awesome. It just cuts real nice. It would be awesome if there was a mullet brush. I know, right? I should make one. Just so we have one, just in case. Well, you know what I actually want to do real quickly. I actually want to. So we're gonna do a project history. Because I really like the detail that I have here. Let's go ahead and actually just. Eh, we don't need to keep groups. Let's just Z remesh it real quick. Odon, what's up, man? Hello, dude. Yeah, it has been, been a while. It's definitely been a while, man. All right, and then we're going to subdivide a couple times. It wasn't any more than 100,000, so let's go here. And then let's project history. There we go. Now we have some good subdivisions on this guy right here. We're going to go up to the 1 million marker. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and solo real quick. We're going to make this like really beautiful and shiny. So first things first, take our H polish and clean up some of these edges. Touch. That a little bit. What we could do as well is turn back face mask on. We can come to brush, go to depth, and drop that a little bit. So that way we can get some sharper edges. A little bit easier. We can even take the... Nope, don't do that. Something like that's looking pretty nice. Yeah, how you doing, Odon? Ohad, I mean, sorry. Mispronounce your name twice. How you doing, man? He's the way you mean. Okay. Alright. Okay, this looks beautiful now. Now, let's take, actually, there's an orb uh, pinch brush. So if you have the orbs kit, it's really, really good. Here it is. You can pinch this area. 
right here a little bit more. Go kind of trim that a bit more. H polish. There we go. A little bit of an imperfection. All right, now that we have that, we're gonna go to geometry. We're gonna go to clay polish and real fast, let's take this color. Let's actually turn off the color so we can see what's going on. Take that color, switch it. There we go. To help us see a bit more. Now let's go geometry. Clay polish, sharpen, 25% is fine. Let's actually go more like 15 here. Edge, let's leave that. Let's try edge of five. Yeah, go ahead and hit that. And that's gonna give us a pretty nifty edge right here. I'm gonna go ahead, turn this back on. Switch to a color, and then let's go ahead and fill this like such. And actually, you know what? Let's back it up a little bit. Let's do kind of a goldish color. Hide that right there, and we'll fill one more time. There we go. Something a little bit more like that. Now let's turn all that back on. There we go. Rush! Sanchez! Mike T! Mike K, how you doing guys? Michael! Okay, Rush! Dude, everybody's here. What's happening, brother? What's going on, guys? How are you guys doing? This is kind of where we're at right now. There we go. Bring the peeps! How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good, man. I'm doing really good. Just been busy, man. Just been busy. Lots of work. So, trying to keep personal projects going is super important. Oh yeah, man. Well, dude. As you can see, I have nothing set up here. No notification set up. Nothing's... I had to, like, do a whole restart a while ago, so... Yeah. Nice, man. Bring all the peeps. So yeah, this is where we're at right now. Okay, let's actually put that right there. All right. So this is obviously the front of him. I think, is that the front of him? Let me double check. I'm pretty sure that's the front. Of him. Where did my ropes go? Hold on a second. Logs. Oh. Accidentally got rid of some stuff. Let me load a previous tool up. Let's load this guy. Where's everything? Rot row. I'm missing something. Hold on. There it is. This thing. Okay, right here. Let's go ahead. This is why you save a bunch of stuff. <laughs> they can say, 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 you've been missed. Yeah, man. Seriously. Have you been? I've dropped in your stream once in a while. Oh, oh with Rush? Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. Yeah, dude, Rush, what have you been working on, brother? I have not popped in your stream in a while, so forgive me, brother. Go to a master copy folder. There we go. Oops, don't need to do that. Okay, perfect. Let's come back up here. Let's close a few of these down. And then let's paste... 
folder. There we go. There's a bit of drapes that look like we got rid of at one point on accident. So there we go. Let's go ahead and save this real quick. Save it as this guy. Now we have it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, we got to get two more Bokoblins. Because these are the, this is what we're going for. So Solid Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. Really fell in love with it. I think it's going to be fun. I mean, you guys know me, I'm a Zelda guy. And then this popped up. And then after I saw this, I saw a traditional sculptor do something like this, where he was inspired as well. So I was like, you know what? Got to bring the digital version now. So I've been working on this now for a week and a half, but not constant, clearly. Just like whenever I can. So I have these different versions of them. Obviously the white being the more powerful one. So I thought I'd mix and match or I would just stick with like the red and blue since they normally get stuck in there together. We got options. So yeah, what we got right now. Dude, Sanchez, I've been looking at your art lately, man. That looks really, really good, by the way. I keep seeing you post stuff. Alright, you know what we need to do? We need to finalize the topology, and then we need to uh, project some stuff. So... Yeah, you've been grinding for sure, too. Well, that's awesome, man. Keep it up, brother. Work too fast for ZBrush. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, dude. Yeah. How are you doing? David Marin. Man, welcome in. Let's take this guy and let's kind of carve it. That area. I'm trying to add just these subtle little bits to it. Nothing too crazy. Trying to keep it consistent. Let's actually go Mallet Fast 2. So there's two versions of ZBrush. There's the Mallet Fast and Mallet Fast 2. Both seem to be very, very cool brushes when it comes to sculpting rocks in general because it just kind of gouges really interesting areas like you can it just I'm not quite sure how to explain it but it, like it cuts in a really cool way like almost polishes as it cuts you get little shapes like this that happen and then you happy little accidents It's fun to like put some material on and then with holding alt put some material on and then kind of go back over it and it reshapes it. It has like this noise effect to it. Okay, add some material. Fun stuff. Okay. So what we're going to do is let's actually take this talus. We're going to turn everything off and duplicate this by control shift D. Actually, no, we don't need to do that anymore. Let's just take this guy. Let's actually come up here and there we 
we go. We're gonna hold control and we're gonna tap the timeline, which is gonna give us a point in history that we actually need. Gonna hit auto groups and then let's go ahead and keep groups and let's see remesh at start at let's start at 20. We'll start at 20 and then we'll actually kind of fix it a little bit more there. It's taking three and a half million down, so it's pretty heavily dynameshed. Of course, now that's going to take a while. <laughs> Let it think, let it think. Dude, how have you guys been though? Anybody working on some fun projects? Okay, cool. That's done. It's pretty ugly. We're gonna subdivide a few times. I'm gonna subdivide to a million. Even though we are at three million, actually wanna subdivide there. And then let's project history. Let's see what kind of damage it does. Just finished Samus. Out to printer. Nice, dude. Are you gonna paint her as well? I actually, her, uh, I saw somebody on. I saw you talking about it on Twitter a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. Wee yeah, that's a lot better. Nice. When you project history a little bit, you do get a little bit of like some weird errors that can occur. When you project uh, multiple subdivisions like that, but you can just check your mesh real fast. Make sure because the mesh isn't messed up. It just kind of like just kind of like crunches a little bit. So you just check your areas, make sure they look good like this. You can smooth that down. Now you don't have to duplicate the sub tool and you can just like get some pretty decent details back. Something real quick. Let's go ahead and Auto groups, perfect. Go to close holes. All right. See something. Okay. What we can do here is come up, hide, close holes. Hmm. Okay. We need to go back. <laughs> you doubt it. <laughs> We're gonna go back a little bit. We got some funky crunchies. Two funky crunchies. So let's actually go up to... What kind of tablet do I use? So I have a 20... 22... No, sorry. Live. 24 inch Cintiq. Cintiq. I actually just upgraded. And it looks glorious. And I love it. She's looking beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a great tablet. I upgraded because of the size. Um, I actually wanted a big tablet because I'm a big guy. I'm 6'4", and I have wingspan <laughs> that's massive. So it's actually a lot easier to uh, get a bigger tablet because I like to move my arm around a lot. Yeah. And yeah, the Samus is looking great. Inspire, you did a great job on it. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's make sure. Let's untap it. Let's close holes real quick just to make sure. All right. Now let's try one more time. Subdivide a few times. About to the 1.6 million. You can actually subdivide and then project, subdivide, and project. But you don't need to. 
but it doesn't hurt. It's a nice little backup. So like we'll go halfway project history. Yeah. Here I'm six out of five nine, wanting a twenty-two inch. <laughs> nine. Yeah, actually, I recommend. Uh, if you're looking for a, a big tablet, I recommend no bigger than the. Uh, I would say don't go any bigger than. Um, twenty-four. I I don't know how people do the thirty-two inch. Like this almost felt too big. But. Again, I was like, I wanted, I wanted to go. Yeah, let's project one more time. Yeah, they have a 32. I, I don't want it that big. Can you imagine? Hey, Leo Feller, how you doing? Doing good, man. Happy to see you live. Thanks, dude. Yeah, it has been a while. Actually, just started getting comfortable with the way uh, my work is. And I've been wanting to do more YouTube videos because I'm going to have more time to do that. But besides being on Pixo, every once in a while, I think it'd be kind of cool to jump on here. But the YouTube channel has been getting hits lately. And so I have a lot more video ideas. So I want to start kind of slowly transitioning over that way. We can add some more detail here. Let's actually, real quick. I'm gonna put them up here in the corner so you guys can see them. It's always nice to see part of the project. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. Yeah, and we're going to be 3D, 3D printing this, too. I'm actually... I'm, so this project I started on um, my Pixelogic chan, uh, night, which is usually uh, Sundays. And then I'm just kind of keeping that project going. I like doing longer projects. I think they're more satisfying. And then I'm thinking we'll do like a figure out a scale, maybe one tenth. No, maybe one. I was thinking one eighth, one eighth, one six scale. For what I was thinking for the final. May have to do a combination of resin FDM if I want it that big, but um, yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> you can press me every time I'm doing. You and Rabbit are just heavy. God of War. Dude, Rabbit. 
<laughs> Thanks, man. That's the quickest switch. All right. Thanks, dude. I'm glad, man. I'm glad. Hey, he's a huge inspiration for for me, so I I appreciate that uh, that compliment, man. Yeah, dude. I just I just wanna I just wanna keep pushing, you know? Like I just wanna keep making as best art as I can make. So one half. <laughs> uh, you better get your butt over here, buddy. Help me build it. <laughs> I think a one half t talis stone talisman would be like would be like my height, right? What do you think? You think that the boulders are like twelve feet tall? Uh, do I have a video about cutting and preparing for print? I do. Yes. Um, I'm pretty sure I do. I have a list of videos I want to start making. That's why I'm going to be transitioning away from trying to stream more often to just trying to go videos more often. That's why I'm really uh, busy in the Discord. But let me see here. For those of you who are new and like ZBrush videos. Um, if you come over to my main channel and then under ZBrush help and we don't listen to me for a second. Um, I was pretty sure I did. I not do it. Oh, cut your models right here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Cut your models. <laughs> yes, then I'm on my way. Okay, so there's a video right there, Ohad, um, on how I go about cutting. Basically, every type of cut you've ever seen pretty much derives from this setup. So I show you how to cut the key and just the, the simple idea. I don't go into cutting different parts um, specifically just because that's custom to each sculpt that you do. You're never going to cut uh, the same, you know, you're never going to make the same cuts on every sculpt. Every prototype cut usually is uh, usually is custom to the shape because of the poses and how the model um, interacts with itself. So um, I show you how to approach it. Super beginner, super basic, uh, but you can apply this to pretty much any part of your model. And then from there, um, you know, try to then repeat that in other places and then eventually study more complicated cuts. How do I do retopology, zebra mesh, or do you use Mayan Blender? Um, because I make toys, I just deal with zebra mesh. Although I've done some stuff for animation lately, and zebra mesh worked for the really funky, quick prototype stuff that I've done. But if I were to do anything for animation professionally, it would have to be, uh, I, I would go into um, 3D Coat, which is another place where I just do um, uh, manual retopology. So, yeah, no problem, not a problem at all. Zebra Mesh is getting better and better, but it's not quite there for animation ready stuff. But if you wanted to have something that, you know, you could do like test rigs and stuff on, then for sure, Zebra Mesher will be okay for testing, but for work or any type of studio, you're going to definitely want to do manual retopology. For me, when I do it, it's usually, like I said, in 3D coat. I've done some in Maya. I think Maya's really good for manual re uh, for uh, retopoing, but uh, I don't do it that often for, for my work because I'm in toys. I, you get lucky that way. But you have to know how to really cut your models up, so... <laughs> so there is that, too. Kind of the trade-off. Trying to make each rock look just a little bit different than the other rock. Okay, it was Maya on my course. 
but as soon as we're done, we lose Maya license. Feels bad. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's my problem with Maya. It seems that, like, a lot of people get used to it, and then the license fee is, like, ridiculous. Although, I mean, I know it's a subscription base, but before I got picked up by, um, by Funko, those of you who don't know, that's who I work for, <laughs> um, before I got picked up for them, I was actually going to get Maya Lite, which it doesn't have any rendering capabilities, but it has everything else via Maya. Um, so... I would recommend Maya Lite if, like, you were trying to do it for work. But Blender is really good, too. I mean, you know. I guess it really just depends on, like, what you're comfortable in and what, what program do you really want to benefit or utilize your, your skills in. It's just Maya needs to not be so expensive. <laughs> Said like everybody. I really appreciate Pixelogic for leaving students with permanent light. Oh, they really? No way, they did they do Death Sacrament! Still working on that Vegeta statue, I see. That is correct, dude. Welcome in, brother. <laughs> see, that's really cool, Leo. I didn't know Pixo did that. That's it's even better. For some reason, I really don't like Blender. <laughs> For me, Blender was like, I, I played with it, I tried it, I highly recommend it for people who are trying to learn and get into the, the industry and don't have a lot of money um, and just want to like play. But me personally, um, I can do some things in Blender, but I don't, like I have it. Like I could just open it up anytime I want. I do little things in there, but I don't like, it's not my main program, but it's nice to have. what's up dude hey what's going on how are you today i'm doing great man doing great um I'm building this fun little project I'm good man nice to see you thanks for stopping by brother <laughs> i've been spoiled by student version of maya gonna need to get used to blender or <laughs> smooth before I get before I get out of uni. Yeah. Ooh. You're up pretty late. Ah I've just streaming pretty late. It's only 9.30 my time, but I will have to take a little bit of a break here in a second to tell my kids to go to bed. But yeah, man. Uh it was a three-day weekend, so I decided to just pop on. <laughs> Adder Lovely, hello. Do you recommend any websites for downloading brushes? Yes, I do, actually. Um, I will tell you the one of the best... Really, I mainly use mostly Zebra Standard brushes, but go to this place here, Funky Bunnies, 3D.com, because they have some really cool hair brushes, uh, some pretty decent um, uh, UIs as well. But then... Eh, um, but then, honestly, the only other kit that I really utilize is the Orb Brush. Which I think... Let me see real quick. I know you can buy them. But I think Gumroad has them for f here yeah check this out oh you saw funky bunnies he was on a random stream i walked in on it was his girlfriend's stream. whoa that's awesome that's so awesome next knocks what up dude anyway so yeah there's that and then some gum that's crazy man yeah man totally insane that's awesome yeah, I've, uh, uh, Shane Olson recommended, uh, that website to me, and then I got a chance to, like, just eat out his stuff. I just, it's awesome. 
So I've been supporting his uh, his little website this whole time. It's awesome. But anyway, yeah, that's so cool, dude. That's so cool. Did you get a chance to like just chill and and chat with him? That's so awesome. Anyways, brother, I like the Legend of Zelda mobs. Just wanted to pop in and see what's new. Have a great night, brother. Have a great night, Death. Dude, thanks, man, for popping by. He's one of my inspirations when I started. <laughs> His Disney models is alive. Yeah. Yeah, he shot the shit and became besties. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, who can't become besties with you? Seriously. Well, I think Kevin is my bestie. <laughs> Take it until we gotta just, you know, yeah, just accept. They just need to accept the fact that they're now besties with you and and life is good. <laughs> That's so freaking awesome. Alright. I keep doing that. There we go. Let's take some clay build up, not with paint. Don't know why I clay build up with paint is on there. Sometimes when I cut a little bit too steep on these rocks, come over with clay build up, soften that out a little bit. And a little trim dynamic. And then back to the mallet fast. Just to bring a little bit of texture. There we go. He started a company with this girl, and they're mostly now doing outsource for games. Oh, wow. Cool. And now doing outsourcing for games. Wow, that's really, really cool. Good for them. Seriously. <laughs> God, do y'all ever like, just be like, I want this thing and then proceed to torture yourself looking at whatever that thing is for the next, wait, for the next while knowing you could have had it, but also can't. Random, but I'm like doing that to myself right now. It, yeah, um, yeah. I think I think everybody can say they've they've been there at some point, for sure. Just be kind to yourself. That's like the number one. Uh, it's my number one motto. Just, just be kind to yourself. Look at that. Yeah, that made that so much better. Just putting that rock that way makes it look better it was like this and that just looked funky now it looks like it belongs funny how that works just go to the red light district you'll be fine Can you add her? Uh, if you if you would like to elaborate more, I'm curious on like what it is you're you're talking about mainly. But if it's more like you know you're just kind of in a you're in a bit of a I don't know it's like a big a bit of a rut, or if you're just talking more about like I don't know maybe I'm putting too much into it. That's where you get the smoky stuff, right? Amsterdam. Well, California, too. <laughs> In Colorado, I think. Right? Isn't Colorado? I think Colorado was, like, big on there. I think Colorado is the first state to actually get it legal the way it needed to be. Oh, I'm drilling over the getting a motorcycle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was such in code. I was thinking something completely different. Uh, there's this beautiful 1978 Zuki in my town for sale under $2,000. And it's so pretty. Like, I can have it, but I also can't have it. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I totally get what you mean. All right. And yeah, we've all been there. <laughs> Um, I drooled over getting this Cintiq for about a year before I actually got it. Um, I mean, yeah. You're better man than me because um, if I saw something that was like, yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't help it. 
do what you need to do. <laughs> Any tips on how to do rocks like this? Yeah, so um, interestingly enough, rocks are super complicated, but they have a simple principle. So the shapes and stuff, the, what makes rocks so cool is like the shapes are organically organically natural like they just kind of they just kind of form over time because rocks take you know they take damage in the long term with water wind tossing turning so the coolest thing i actually tried to do a lot and if you notice on the majority of them is keep a direction going because most rock anatomy if we were to come up here real quick so if you were to type in like um you just type in like uh, Rocky Mountains, for example. Let's see if we can find a good picture. Let's just type in. Email. Come on, give me a good picture. Okay, let's just type in mountains. Getting all fancy here. Okay. Um. Let me see if this might be a good. Yeah. So let me see if I can zoom in real fast. Okay, if you kind of take a look at rocks, there's always some form of direction, some sh form of shape that they adhere to over time. And the anatomy is really, really cool because everything kind of chips off in little sections. So when you think of that, um, you can even take a look at like uh, stylized rocks as a more simplified breakdown. But the idea is to keep a pattern kind of flowing. Here's a good example. So this would be a stylized rock. And pushing at realism just means don't have as many sharp edges. And kind of vary, add a little bit more texture and detail. But you can see that there's a pattern of the, the way the uh, cuts are happening within the rock. And that's the most important thing um, to really pay attention to. Style like sliced rocks. Once look up Rock and Amy, it came up with Gene Simmons Rock Art. <laughs> That's so funny. Kamara! <laughs> so keep a direction. Any and all style rocks, keep some sort of shape and flow, but keep a certain direction of how they're, they're um, like even like this one, everything's kind of flowing down. Yeah, there's some breakage with like some cracks and stuff, but for the most part, the main shapes are flowing in a direction. And just like anything, lots of reference, right? So what I'm trying to do with here, so there's little holes in this, but that's because I have posts that are going to be carved in there. But even still, I'm going to be adding cracks, but because of how the, the, the rock is shaped, what I'm going to do is actually come in here. Let's take like the damn standard and I'm actually going to add cracks to add up the lazy mouse a little bit. So I'll add cracks that are going to flow around that, that shape. I'm going to add much better cracks than this, of course, but let's... So I'm going to make sure that everything is kind of flowing in a direction on each and every rock. Now what's cool about this rock creature is that his rocks are all are manipulated so they don't have to flow together that would look a little weird so keeping so having these turned a little bit like more on an angle is actually giving it a little bit more of a like a dynamic effect at least that's the hope you know yeah Totally rocks, my dude. <laughs> but yeah, so, so that's what I recommend. And just play around with some stuff. In ZBrush, the best brushes I'm using for uh, for rocks in general, if you go up to the um, spotlight, the light box, and then come over to brush, come down to mallet. You have mallet two, mallet and mallet fast. Mallet's a little bit softer. Um, Mallet and Mallet 2 are a little bit harder, but what you can do is when you hold Alt, you add material and it actually add some pretty decent shapes. And then you can subtract going the other way. And it seems to give you a little bit more of a breakup. 
a nicer breakup in general. Clay buildup's pretty good as well. But clay buildup tends to round a bit, so you want to polish that H polish. Kind of smooth some of those details back. And then the easiest way to start a rock to get like a basic shape. Just like let's say you're doing a boulder. First things first, let me actually get rid of some of these. All this. So much stuff here. When you have a lot opened up in ZBrush, it gives you problems. Okay. So if we wanted to just take a sphere, I want to make this a rock. What I'm going to do is actually just dynamesh it real quick. And then I'm going to come up, hold control shift and get the clip curve. The curve, there you are. And then I'm just literally going to start kind of clipping away. Just kind of having something a little bit loose. That maybe. Actually, I try not to keep them flat too much. So you just start here, kind of cut some stuff off, and then from there, just take your your mallet brush, and then just start adding, adding or cutting. You can flow along some of these edges. You can even take the trim dynamic brush and start breaking some of this stuff off. So really quickly, you can start getting some fun shapes. And then obviously you soften the edges down, make them make them look a little bit. You don't want them too sharp because too sharp will actually show you a little bit more like diamonds at that point, right? Something really, really sharp will give you more of a like a crystal or uh, diamonds type look. So if you want like rocky stones like this, then it's going to be a little bit more softer, but heavier cuts. So. Hopefully that's helpful. Best part about sculpting rocks personally is that you don't have to adhere to any rules. You just kind of have to like, you know, what I mean is you don't have to like focus so hard to get a specific rock. You just get something that looks like rocks and it's just so natural. And I feel like the more random your rock looks, the better it starts to look. Like no two rocks are the same. <laughs> What's cool too is like, you know, old subdivisions, grab the move brush. Don't be afraid to like just move some stuff around. Come back in there. Something like that. This, take the H polish, kind of create some hard edges. Go back to the mallet fast. Again, I'm just adhering to that one direction that I was telling you about, cutting some of it back, <clears throat> holding all adds materials in, kind of cut it back a little bit. Just kind of play around until I get something that I like. Yeah, and just allow random shapes. But again, if you just hold to that left or right or up and down, yeah. What up, my keysies? How you doing? We are making um, a bokoblin. Okay. We have a bokoblin stone talus fortress from Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. <laughs> Bokoblin is something that we pretty much completed, got the first pose decent, but still needs to be cleaned up. But now we're just kind of getting the rest of these rocks built in here. Move some of this down. Actually, I haven't. I don't know why this is breaking so much. Pull this up a little bit. Move that down. Okay, 
funny enough, we actually have this really weird... ...piece rate. Actually... ...the add in a little piece. There we go. Alright, back to that mallet fast. There we go. Just kind of build that up a little bit. Hey, brother! Man, good to see you, man. Absolutely. Good to see you, too, man. Thanks for stopping in, dude. Appreciate it. How you been? How's life happening? Okay, I'll trim that down a little bit. Yeah, so you just get some really cool shapes like this. I love it. Hi, Casey, what's happening? Also, too, guys, is the audio okay? Because I've been changing a lot of stuff um, lately, trying to get new setups and stuff happening. So hopefully it's all right. I'm not going to worry about that hole. There's a little hole right there, but that's going to be... We're going to end up uh, adding all that stuff in. <laughs> and how do you give the rocks so small details? Just manual or some sort of noise? Sorry for asking too much, LOL. Um, no, uh, you don't have to worry about asking too much. Um, so for small noise, you could do a couple things. Um, if you download the orbs brush um, and install them... You actually can have some, like, there's a brush called, uh, where are you? Orb Rock Noise. So you could just kind of drag some noise on there. That's one way to do it. Um, the other way to do it. There we go. Let's actually add some subdivisions. The other way to do it is simply just pull up your standard brush and actually go to your spray. So go to dots and then go to spray. And then on alpha, you can actually just come here and grab alpha 7 for some pretty big, like, like some big, pretty big pebbles, right? Then what you can do is just dial down the intensity and negatively cut in a little bit. You want to give your rock a little bit of pores. Now that you can, that could be a little bit more for like pores in general, like skin texture. So... You can also move to this noise brush, Alpha 31, which is very similar. And I think Alpha... No, yeah, 23 is pretty good too. But if you go pretty small, you can actually get in like some corrosion details. A lot of what you're seeing as well is just the kind of orbs. It's the orbs uh, rock noise and then just brush uh, noise in general when the brush comes over it. I don't clean it up or smooth it down a whole lot So when I have like the clay buildup I'll come over a few areas like this and then I won't smooth it I'll actually just grab the trim dynamic and kind of come back over that a bit and then that mallet fast Really does add like the natural noise itself so you're seeing a mix of like some alphas and then some brush noise. The one thing you want to avoid is doing something and then smoothing it down because that's just going to wreck it, you know? I'm going to wreck it. So something like this. Just come back in here. I really like this uh, mallet, this mallet fast brush. I think it's really good for rocks. And 
then a little bit of H polish too from time to time if you wanted to just flatten some areas out. And then, yeah, that orb rock noise. You want that kind of like brainy stuff. You could also too get some, um, you can get a rock texture or rock alpha and just put it to your standard brush and just drag rock noise down. The music seems quieter than usual, but otherwise sounds good to you. Nice. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I can up the music a little bit more. Hey, hold on. How you doing? Pretty good. Okay, guys. I have to actually go put my kid. Just tell my kids to go to bed. So I'm gonna actually we're gonna pause. Not pause, but like I'm gonna intermission for like a few minutes, and I'll be back. So in the meantime, here is where we at currently. You just got done with a three hour speed sculpt. Awesome. Just hanging out. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I'm going to be right back in just a couple minutes. You know, just life going on gets in the way of art. Absolutely, dude. I feel you. All right. Give me like just a few minutes. I'll be right back. And then here's a closer look. At the stone talisman, dude. Let's actually hide that one. Let's clear that. Let's actually stamp it. And then what I'm gonna do is actually turn off all this other stuff like this. And we're gonna put we're gonna put them. Put them like right there. There you go. Okay. I'll be right back, guys.
you thank you so much inspire for coming in hello hello hey thank you guys for the follow i appreciate it all right so put everything back on hey pros thank you so much man appreciate it you're gonna head out night i'll see you sanchez all right All right, all right, all right. Okay. I think right now let's just finalize a couple more of these rocks because I still got to clean some of this stuff up. We'll get to some more stuff. Quick. I'm gonna want to actually manipulate this one. They kind of move this up a little bit. Kind of nice to just adjust things when you need it. Got my Master Sword print all primed up tonight. Gonna try incredibly unsteady and have painting it soon. That's so awesome. Tomorrow, I actually have like. So, actually, um, almost have all my stuff printed. I have to just send the last part to print. But. We got, got the pedestal printed. Using uh, lychee slicer now. What's neat is it stands up all by itself. I didn't even realize. I mean, mainly because when I gave it away, I didn't test the files, which I normally do. I did not do it at the time. Oh yeah, look at that. It stands there. Super cute. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see it painted. It'll be awesome. Gotta, hey, I gotta print the uh, Silent Princess next. Saturn is so nice. I managed to get the whole piece done in one go. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Just don't upgrade your machine yet. Like, if you have a firmware update, don't do it yet. Because, um, you're using, um, Chichu Box right now, right, Kamara? For slicing? Or are you using Lichi? Either way, like, there's, um, it seems like Chichu is going to start charging for their slicer and dedicate to machines. So if that's the case, don't upgrade it because you could still use Lychee on that. Yeah, I heard they're going to change the, yeah, charge for Chichu now. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Uh, what's my favorite Funko that I sculpted? I actually can't say it because it's not out yet. <laughs> but hold on to that question. I'll be able to answer it. 
hopefully this year. <laughs> <laughs> I've 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 done a good amount and it and it's fun. Which funk in general is my fave? My fave in general, the one I own, is the one who watches over me through the one who encourages me all the time. He's behind me. One second. My all time favorite one. Bob Ross Deadpool. This little guy. I love it so much. <laughs> he watches over my right hand shoulder. He just encourages me to work. <laughs> He's also right next to Dracula. And All Might. Really shiny chrome all my this one was cool i got this one um when i bought uh two heroes the movie on funimation and they sent me a funko this was before i was really cool those three just kind of kind of watch me this one was cool because i actually got this one at funko store and this was one of their exclusives so yeah <laughs> so yeah, they, they they watch over, they encourage me to do my best. <laughs> but, ser but seriously, yeah, it's fun. It's it's really cool. What's your favorite, Leo? If you, which what's your favorite Funko you own? It's probably nice to walk into a store and see something you did on the wall for sale. Yeah, uh, I cannot wait for that to happen. Actually, um. Because I've only been there about a month now, and it's it's been amazing. But I, yeah, I can't wait to see it all come come out. And then I could tell you which ones I had a hand in, and then you guys <laughs> then you guys can see it. <laughs> Very soon, your Stanley Golden version. Ooh, yes. Don't forget to put your screen back. Ooh, yes, that's true. You don't want to see this big old mouth. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Adder. <laughs> I think my favorite, aside from Bob Ross Deadpool, is Bala from the Book of Life. Oh, I don't, I don't know that one. Not even because of his character. It's just such a cool figure. I don't know. I can't. I'll have to look that one up. Unless you want to send me a photo. Send me a photo, Kamara. I want to see. I didn't see Book of Life, so. Did the did they give you a Funko blank to start your sculpts on? We do have base meshes, yeah. Because there are some there are some characters that um, there's some characters that we have to adhere to certain proportions. Uh, and we do have to adhere to proportions and size of each piece, so we do have a mesh to start from uh, to get a general idea and to keep things as consistent as possible. But depending on the piece, there's so much sculpting that the base mesh almost doesn't even matter. <laughs> just, it's just kind of funny, in a sense. Sometimes my symmetry can get lost when I add a new object or pin them. How to reset? Okay. Um, if you need to reset your symmetry, the best thing to do, in fact, actually that happened to me earlier today with my Bokoblin. Um, but the best way to set symmetry, let me save this real quick so I can just give you a demo. So I'm actually going to just take this uh, Bokoblin real quick. No, no, no. We don't need to do that. No, totally fine. Anyway, we'll just turn every we'll just turn off the things we don't need. Okay, best thing to do is let's say I needed to send him back. You want to send them back to home. 
Now there are there are other things you can do real quick. If your model is already set to the home position, you want to reset symmetry. Easiest thing to do is to go to like uh, go to geometry, modify topology, and then mirror and weld. Make sure local sim is turned off, or else it will it will create its own uh, uh, center line, and then it'll base it off of that. So if it's already in home position, meaning that it's hasn't been pulled away too far, but it's just been offset a bit. Turn off local symmetry if it's on and then mirror and weld. That should fix it. But let's say your model is like this one and it's all the way out and you have all these different sub tools and one of it is off symmetry or a couple are off symmetry. Go into T pose mesh, go to Z plugin, go to transpose master, go to T pose mesh. This way, what you could do is you could select multiple objects, bring up the gizmo, center it, and then you can actually send that home. So now it's in the home position where before it wasn't. All right, before it was up here. So you could just center this gizmo, send that home, and then from there, send that back by hitting T post sub T, and that could send it back off to the home position. That'd be one way to do it, but let's actually pull up another example. Not to throw a hundred things at you. Let's just take this. Message you a picture on the discords. Nice. Oop. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, here real quick. Oop. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. That is adorable. I love it. Okay. Yeah. Reaction. Reaction. Bloop. Hurt. <laughs> okay. So let's take this anime head, for example, and let's say you're just slightly off if you're just slightly off then you can actually you know like if you're even if you're really far off and you recenter this hitting home should send that it, i guess it really just depends on how far off symmetry your character is if it's slight a lot of times what happens is that you're on local symmetry and you're doing changes and then you hit mirror and weld that then, because if I had local sim on and I hit Marin Weld over here, oh, it's not going to do it in that aspect. Never mind. But if I had local sim and I made changes, I'm making changes over here. Then I turn on symmetry and I'm making all these other changes. And then I hit Marin Weld. It could it could cause things to be set off a little bit. So to reset. It's best just to hit mirror welds, but you can see how it's off at that point. You want to send that home and then come back mirror and weld and that should reset your center. Hopefully that's, that's what's happening to you. It was funny, the book of life because the character design and texture was so good. Then I found out recently someone you and I both know was a texture artist on it. <gasps> Not sure if he wants me to say who had been somewhat gushing about textures and he goes, Oh, I did that. Okay, you have to you have to you can't you can't do that to me. You have to message me. I won't say it, don't say it here. Just message me privately. You can't do that to me. But I'm not gonna go fan like I won't fan fangirl it up, fanboy it up. I won't be weird, I promise. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Well, that's awesome. I'm going to go tell the world. I'm just kidding. That's so cool. Good for them. Good for them. Would I recommend a Cintiq? If so, what size? Okay, so I do recommend a Cintiq. I recommend a Cintiq based on um, the comfort. So I have a 20... A, this is a 22 or 24. You know, which one is this one? 22. This one's a 22 inch. 
I got it because I wanted a big tablet because I'm a big guy, six foot four. So I move my arms a lot. And when I had my XP pen, great tablet, by the way, but it was a 13 inch. And I was like, really just like, it was too small. I like the screen tablet. I would recommend you figure out if you like a screen tablet too, before just dropping, what was this? $1,100, $1,100. Like, so I wouldn't just, you know, I would figure out if you like a screen tablet first. I do like the pen on paper approach. I like being able to see my hand doesn't get in the way when I'm sculpting. Um, so I like that feel. I think it's nice. Some people don't though. So it is definitely preference, but if you do like the screen, then a Cintiq is definitely the way to go. I would not go any higher than the 22 inch, maybe the 24, which is what I have for work. So I keep getting mixed up. Um, I want to go higher than that because I wouldn't know how to operate on it. It'd be too massive. I know they have like a 32 inch. That's just like insane. I, I, I wouldn't even know where to start. I feel like I'd be, so that seems massive. So yeah, that's, that's what I would go. But if you are saving money or trying to, you don't have uh, liquid cash, then I would definitely say the XP pen has a decent sized one too. 22 HD is not the 4K, does it matter? No, for me it doesn't. Um, the 22 HD is not 4K and you don't need it to be 4K for ZBrush. Um, if you are rendering high-end 4K, uh, if you're rendering high-end 4K uh, renders or images, um, I would say invest in a monitor that would be color, that would be color calibrated easier and more controllable. However, um, the HD version that I have or the 4K version that I have for work, um, it like I barely notice the difference. It's just crispier. I would say it's sharper. That's about it. But for ZBrush, which I'm mainly in like 99% of the time for my job, I don't really notice. I don't miss the 4K when I come back to my personal computer. That makes sense. Does the texture on screen really make it feel like... Um, you can get textures or add-ons that have that. This one is smooth, but I mean, I just like the idea of my pen on my work. But it, uh, this one does not have that texture feel. But there are screens, uh, there are screen protections you can get that do. Which I actually might invest in one. I might see how much they are and I might order one just because they are expensive. So you do want them to last. You don't want to be scratching your screen up. Um, let me see here real quick. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me change back to the project I was on. Uh, any resources you recommend for a brand new noob looking to get into 3D sculpting? Absolutely, yes. First things first. In fact, I'm just going to come on down here. You should be on Instagram. And if you are on Instagram, not now, not now. Anatomy. For sculptors. New into 3D sculpting, check out this channel. Great stuff. You will eventually, if you're doing character artists full time, will want to get this book. But you can see here, it gives you a breakdown of anatomy, which is very important as the sculptor. Because you're gonna be doing uh you're gonna be doing people, creatures. So understanding anatomy, how it works is going to be very, very helpful. So that's going to be amazing. If you're on ZBrush, go to ZBrush Central. There's a ton of stuff there. Um, and then, of course, I would recommend um, Pixelogic.com. We stream. I stream on there. Tons of artists. You can pick their brains. And then just don't be afraid to fail. Just get in there and play. But there's a ton of resources, but that's the most, the biggest one. You want to get anatomy locked in really, really quickly. It's going to be very, very beneficial. Um, there's so much. Depends on how deep you want to dive into. Are you doing ZBrush or are you doing just 3D art in general? That's going to, that's going to alter what I recommend besides that. The new Cintiq is supposed to have an etched texture screen on it. Ooh, nice. You have ZBrush. Nice. Okay, if you have ZBrush, great. Um, ZBrush Classroom. 
That's going to be your... Let me get the link for you. Seriously, people learn so much from ZBrush Classroom. Z Classroom. Jump in here. For sure, you're going to want to do that. There's so much. You're looking to sculpt e caps. Nice. The emulated paper feel. Nice. That's really cool. Off to work, man. Thank you so much for the tips. Catch you later. Ohad. Great seeing you, buddy. Have a good day at work. So if you're if you're brand new and you're using ZBrush, jump in here. It's it's gonna help you out so much. And then also, um, you kind of want to like. What I would recommend is actually going to. I got a lot. Hold on. Where do I want to send you? Okay. Okay. Here's here's who you're gonna want to watch. Seriously. It's really good. Paul Gabriel. Okay. Here. Go through here. Go through that search history. Paul Gabriel. Amazing dude. Really knows how to break things down. Makes things super interesting. And there's a million things on there he does. Check him out. Everybody right, gonna follow that page. Do it. I've been using Sculpt GL, but it's so basic and no hockeys. Okay, yeah, I feel you. Well, enjoy with those searches for a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of information. You can be on YouTube for about five years and never repeat yourself for so much. But I would say stick with uh, Pixelogic Z Classroom to start. And then when you look up YouTubers and stuff, kind of just, oh, you know what? Yeah, you want to be inspired, MLW Creative. Oh my gosh. You want to be inspired, check this channel out. I highly recommend this guy as well. Really awesome dude. I recommend his stuff a lot. He does speed sculpts. You can get a sense of how it works. And then on top of it, one more thing I would recommend. Sorry, you got me like, I, I, I'm all over the place. <laughs> um, I would check that guy out because he's really, really good. Um, and then what I would actually, if you're looking for a workshop that's going to benefit you, I don't, I don't get paid for this. I'm not sponsored in any way, shape or form, but this is a workshop that I've taken and it's great. If you're looking to invest in long term, this is the guy for you. Uh, there's also one other I have, which gives you options, lots of options. One other place when you're really serious about your anatomy and you want to take it to the exact next level. These are the top two workshops I highly recommend that you check out to get better at sculpting. Yeah, you want to do cool robot heads and stuff. And I mean, brand brand new, like no artistic training whatsoever. Yeah, perfect. So here's the thing, like, yeah. 3D Character Workshop is really great for brand, brand new artists who are trying to get in. If you're like serious about art, check out his stuff, really, really good. Spicer, who is the second one I sent you, really great guy. Basics, 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 basics. The things to remember, if you want to do like robots and stuff like that, um, look at Paul Gabry. He does hard surface and ZBrush really, really well. Really, really uh, amazing. Ooh, one other guy, sorry. <laughs> I have so much. Like these are some of the top artists in the world. Um, Pablo. Pablo Munez. Check this guy out too. This will keep you busy for years. I'm not, I'm not even joking. Um, I have ZBrush. Everything I'm sending you is going to basically keep you busy. 
scrub through, take your time. ZBrush is a program that just takes time to learn, but once you get it, you're going to really, really love it. And then, of course, too, feel free to ask questions whatsoever. If you would like to be part of an artist community to kind of like help you along your journey too, where you just can connect with other artists and share your work, it's completely zero judgment. Absolutely no, 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 uh, you know, no judgment whatsoever. Like everybody's welcome. Here's a link to, I had to refresh my chat so I might have lost a question or two. But at the very bottom is my Discord. You can pop in there. That's where I'm at most of the time. You can hang out, you can tag me, you can just, you can ask for feedback. Great artists that are in there to help out too. It's just a really nice community, so. So check that stuff out. Hopefully that didn't overwhelm you too much though. Um, if it did, I'm sorry. But yeah, there's no time like the present to start, right? It's probably super, super cliche, but <laughs> you know what I mean? But welcome into studying 3D. It's a lot of fun. Just find the things that you really, really enjoy. And don't be afraid to branch out and try other stuff. There's a lot. You know, I do character sculpting mostly, but I love branching out and finding other things to sculpt. And projects take time. I've been working on this project on and off for a couple weeks, and I'm nowhere near done. So they take time, so don't rush yourself. Kind of enjoy the process, you know? adding for some reason I don't want to. Oh, it takes a certain amount of time man. yeah it absolutely can it overwhelmed me in the best of ways <laughs> nice Rodesca too Rodesca is an amazing artist click on him and enjoy yeah 3d art takes it takes uh time absolutely you know average turnaround time for my line of business which i'm in toys average turnaround time is about four weeks start to finish to get a model sculpted uh, of course that always depends on the company and the project but yeah once once you get comfortable knowing that it takes time then your projects become more complex. I don't ever recommend people starting out trying to rush a project. You know, allow it to be what it is, art. No way, man, I'm a nobody. <laughs> I'll be somebody someday. You are somebody. Come on now, don't put yourself down. So yeah. Oh, I started planning. I started planning my demon lady today. I'm gonna post the beetle this week. I'm gonna do some final polish, and then demon lady time. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, did you say something? No, no, you good. Thanks to the resource of the Mal Mac Palvich. Looks like he has a good series on it starting out. Absolutely, yeah. Can I ask questions about game art in your channel? More specifically about realism? Sure. Want to know how to make my character's eyes more believable? Oh. I, I got something for you. While I have a hard time doing realistic eyes. When I need to do one, and I've done a couple of my time, you should check this video out. It's a couple years old, but it is amazing. 
Also finish Spidey Pool in the meantime, of course. Yeah, you need to finish Spidey Pool and then tell me what it costs. Hashtag not kidding. Oh yeah, I've seen this, but more specifically, the water flow transition, the eye and the eyelids. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm trying to grasp at the moment. Let me know when you get it. <laughs> I would, uh, that's in, man, like, I haven't gotten to, to that level yet. <laughs> See, I want to learn that too. <laughs> do I do commissions? Uh, not anymore, no. I used to do commissions, um, but I walked away from that when I became full-time because I just I work in a studio now and I don't have a whole lot of free time, so. But, um, depending on the commission, it will depend. I know people. There are artists all over the place that will take a commission, so it depends on what it is. Um, yeah. But I do not anymore. No. Too much. Too much. This is what my girls look like right now, and they look dead. Hmm. Okay. Hey, this is awesome, by the way, though. I like what you're doing with it. I'm going to show it. You sent it to me at your ball. <laughs> um, I really like... But I see, I see what you mean. Okay. Okay. I would say, playing for the eyes is freaking off. Yeah, I would say the thing that looks the most odd to me is the pupil. I would say her pupils are too, I mean, not the pupil, the, the iris, the whole eye, not the white, obviously, but the, the, I would say that it's off. It's too small. It's too high up. Even this eye, which is the closest one to what you have. I would make the color of everything bigger. Um, you have a nice reflection. The paint job looks great. I would say it's just too small. I think you would need to, hopefully that's just a texture map. You can, you can drop in there, but yeah, that's, that's the thing that if I were to give a critique eye, that's the thing that's throwing me off. How to do it specifically, you know, I mean, Outside of just scaling it up and stuff. Yeah. I mean, so you, I'm sure you, yeah, you know. That's about it, because that's that's the funny part. The eye, the eye lids themselves almost cover it top and bottom unless you widen those. So it's, yeah, so I would say bring it, tilt it down, and then scale them up a bit. Y'all. That's what I would say. <laughs> Hopefully that's helpful, man. I love the color though. Dude, the color is beautiful. Like I'm actually, and that doesn't even bother me. I'm going to say it doesn't really bother me because it's, everything is just clean and looks great. I love this man, but I love your work. So I'm biased too. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't notice that I've been staring at it for 12 hours. Well that, yeah, that will do it. Yeah, that, that, that will, that will do it, man. I find it funny cause I'll like stare at, uh, I'll stare at my work for a long time and then, uh, that's what it was. I'm like, why, why is my material off? Okay. 
just material. Um, I'll stare at stuff for a long time and then all of a sudden I'll just like come back to see a bunch of problems. Then I'll question my existence for an hour and then fix it. <laughs> oh, thanks, love your work too. Thanks, man. It's an awesome person. Yeah, those are already better nice than I have. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Camaro. I do it back tomorrow. Bless you. Practicing heads for two months straight. Yeah, you have done a lot of busts lately. I was gonna say, I've seen a lot of bust posts from you. I got tired of human anatomy, so I threw rocks together. And then I made up a poplin, which is like, you know, mostly human anatomy, so. <laughs> it's funny how that works. Stop staring at my bus. No, I can't. All right, man. <laughs> I think texturing is your favorite part. Texturing is, um, is just so calming. I mean, obviously, I'm just here adding like little cut marks and stuff to each of my rocks just to make them look a little bit better each, each second I can. This is why I love high, uh, high res sculpting. Substance Painter almost makes me sad because it's so good that texturing takes significantly less time now. But I also love it. <laughs> yeah. It's only my favorite part because it means I'm done with UVs and re tap. <laughs> Whichever reason it is, it's a good one. Substance Painter makes me sad because Adobe owns it. That's probably part of it for me. But also, I used to download models to just practice hand painting. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I want to get better at my hand painting uh, with poly paint and stuff like that. But I love Marmoset 4. You could take all that poly paint and you can move it straight into render. And for me, that's what works, you know? Like, but I love Substance Painter too. It's all good. Actually smart as heck. Yeah. That is really smart. Practice, practice, practice. Not everything we make has to be ours. Oh my gosh. Guys. Okay. Okay, it was shared in my Discord uh, by Inspire, actually. You guys have to check out this channel. It's purely in Japanese, but she's amazing. Um Wait, go back. Nope, not that one. Word. Oh my gosh. Ugh, hold on. Okay. You guys have to check this out, especially for painting, because I think some of the, the, the techniques that she used might be able to be applied, but Look at look at this. So that's her channel. But look at this. This is a 3D model. This is hand painted. 
Like, I want to paint like this digitally. Look at this shit. It's amazing. <laughs> so, like, yeah. And she goes through the process of like how she does it. A lot of airbrush, a lot of painting. But I thought, you know what? I could probably try to look at a lot of these techniques and then try to apply them in poly paint because it's very specific like what she does is just layering but animation style on top of it it's it's just yeah i love this she's awesome so check out her stuff too because i feel like anything painting and re realism uh, pa you know painting digitally painting realism i mean i mean in reality real painting hand painting whatever we're calling it um yeah i feel like you can I feel like the two correlate a little bit, so that's my, that's my thought. Anyway, obviously I love the channel. <laughs> I wish life looked like this. I do too, seriously. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, poly paint is really good for mimicking real life hand painting. It doesn't let you tweak things you've already done just like you. Oh, it does, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there is that. But it, it does take layering on really, really well, which that's that's awesome. So, but yeah, I love it. But, anyways, so check that channel out. Stuff. Oh, you know what? There's another brush I really, really like. Layers. Layers as well. Layers as well. Yes. Honestly, love poly paint. My arguably best portfolio piece before the beetle was poly painted. Yeah, I love poly paint as well. I just thought, oh, you know what? It's easier if I just poly paint it. <laughs> so that's that's what I've always done. Now I'm gonna do new poly paint. Nobody tell Kamar about the new poly paint features. I don't even know if he's joking or not. <laughs> Nothing. No, <laughs> nothing. Where I was gonna now look, go all night looking for poly paint features on ZBrush Central. I think they added it back in 2020, 2021. In case I don't know if I already know what it is. It allows you to change poly paint colors and poly paint. Oh, and mask poly paint colors. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, I use that all the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was thinking something brand brand new. So you even got me, man. See what you're doing? See what you're doing? I hope you guys have enjoyed um, me sculpting rocks for two and a half hours. <laughs> Is that really new? I wish I, I see. I could swear it was back in 2017. Ah, uh, 
They've done a lot of... Dude, that's the problem. ZBrush has done a lot since 2017 that it's hard to keep up when exactly. Gonna take the damn standard a little bit. Add in some cuts. Damn standard's really cool if you want to exaggerate some of your edges. Take that intensity down a little bit. Typing sucks. Uh, but to be fair, Pixo has been churning out features like mad this last year. Yeah, they really have been. I have a terrible memory, so no concept of time. Well, it's it's since quarantine. ZBrush has had three, had three major updates since quarantine, uh, originally. So, yeah, they they they've been pumping stuff out a lot. Let's do that. Better save this. Yeah, thanks for all the cracks. My eyes already look much better. Nice, dude. I have grandma eyes, so I don't see things amazing. <laughs> dude, no, 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 man. Come on. When you're too close to the project, it's uh, it's it's hard to see. You know what I mean? Come on, man. I've been like sculpting rocks for two hours. Trust me. <laughs> Never put yourself down, though. Never put yourself down. <laughs> That's why my mind is. <laughs> she doesn't know how to clear. Yeah, she knows. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, adds it. All right. <laughs> I walked into that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you did. Uh, actually, hadn't worked on Spidey Pool for a few weeks, so I could finish my beetle. Then I pulled back yesterday and immediately saw a few things that Spicer had been telling me to fix. Right? When I was staring at it every day, I couldn't see what he meant. No, absolutely. Yeah, you can't. Actually... I appreciate um, the time that passes more with my personal projects, even work. Like I left on Friday, you know, work on the table, obviously it needs to, needs to sit there for a bit. Um, but I know I'm going to come back tomorrow and I'm going to be like, what, what did I do? <laughs> it's just, it's just half of it. You know. 
I actually think walking away from a project, especially it's hard as a new, it's hard as a new artist, right? People who are like brand new to sculpting, they want to be in it all the time. Trust me, I know I did that for two years, but I feel like I probably could have benefited uh, taking a break. Because I was just like turning out pieces, but I had no direction on what it is to do. Once you get that direction and you get somebody that like kind of sits there and helps you out, which is why mentorships are so cool. Uh, all of a sudden you're like, ah and you're meant where you stood. See, it's funny how that works. They build up a little bit. Hey, Jester Face, how you doing, man? Thanks to follow, man. Yeah, but art is my zen, it's my relaxation in, in my own hell. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So digging the full-time sculpting gig? Yeah, absolutely, I love it. I want to get away. I want to fly away. Yeah, I feel you, dude. Here, Lenny Craven sing our way through life. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I, I love sculpting full time. I love sculpting. It's my Zen too. But I've been playing more video games lately because I work for a living. And that's crazy. Like, I've been taking, I've been forcing myself to not sculpt all the time. I've been going to work, I've been putting in my eight hours because I pretty much sculpt all day long. Um, and then, then when I get off, I make sure, be, especially because I'm still working from home, I make sure that I, um, I walk away. Like I get up from my computer because if I don't, I'm just going to be stuck there. So that's been kind of cool. I've been playing Mario Golf. Highly recommend if you have a Switch. I haven't sat down and played a video game this hard since Breath of the Wild first. <laughs> I should do that more. Absolutely. Yeah. Taking a break is so important. Let your brain relax and think differently. Yep. It actually, it won't actually stop thinking about art unless at least subconsciously take a nice long vacation. Does 12 minutes count? Uh, go for 30. 30 is fine. Not having to do the hustle is another comfort for sure. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's a balance. Have to balance. Yeah. Then when you get back your, to what you're doing, you'll see things you hadn't seen before, and a lot a lot of time you'll solve problems when you're trying to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you just need time for your eyes to readjust. You need to walk away. Actually, it was interesting when I was doing um, photo retouching. They taught us this trick. Is um, And I do it sometimes when I sculpt. A lot of times is um, if you're fixated on something, especially something like, let's say, this right here, right? I'm really fixated on how well this looks or, or doesn't look. So in... A few seconds after I make a few tweaks, right? Because I'm fixated. If I want to figure out if it's a mistake or if it's something I'm going to notice out the gate. What I will do is I will put the character back. I will look away, like look at something else. Just take my eyes off of it for a sec and then look at your character and notice the first thing you see with your character. So I'm looking away and then I come back. I'm actually, my eyes are focused right up here in this area when I first see this when they first see this uh, figure so looking away close my eyes for a second come back yeah I'm like drawn to this top part which is nice so 
That means this little rock down here that I've been fixating on for the last 20 minutes, I can move away from that now because I don't notice the problems with it. Um, and that's the same thing with photo retouching. Like I would be cleaning up somebody's eyeball and then we'd zoom all the way out, look away. And then as soon as we look back, if we notice there's a problem, because sometimes you will, then you're like, okay, yeah, that's no good, but it's a good way to do it. Not quite the same, but, but similar and it taught you a technique for rendering. Ooh, interesting. Make a folder of like 50 images that are visibly similar to the render you're going for. Then stick your somewhere in the middle. Flip through it fast. And basically, if you notice yours, there's something different. I'm scared though. We all know what happens when you take a break from art and return to your project. I'm afraid to break the illusion. <laughs> yeah. Yours will jump out and you'll notice what you don't like. Yeah, that's a, that's a great way too. Yeah. Yeah, those are those are great techniques. Okay. What I want to do real quick, because I've really fixated on a lot of stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and actually I'm gonna duplicate this, control shift D. I'm gonna solo this out. I'm gonna take what I wanna do. Yeah, I wanna take this one plank. This one plank. And I'm going to go ahead and delete it in. Now, bloop, bloop, bloop. inside a ZBrush, under brush, there's a rope brush. I know there's a rope. Insert rope brush right there. Break on me. Okay. Let's actually save this real quick. Let's save this as eight. Thing is, uh, when you uh, you know when there's something wrong, and you can just put your finger on it. Yeah, absolutely. I want to look at my art. <laughs> I want to look at good. Wait, hold on. I want to look at. My, I want my art to look good all the time. Yeah. I feel you, man. You just gotta make it. You just gotta make it. Okay, I'm gonna subdivide a few times. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead. Turn off smooth for a second. Actually, I don't need to do that. I'm gonna go to group by normals. And then I'm gonna go ahead and crease Paul Gabriel's. I'm gonna subdivide a couple times. I'm gonna delete lower. I get this guy right here. You know what I want to do? I want to know why it's taking forever. Why is this brush taking forever? You know what? You know what? Looking for a good emote to respond and got distracted by the new Tesla. <laughs> nice. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? XMD toolbox. Okay, there's the insert rope brush. Hold on. Somewhere in the library of life, because I have a membership. I'm gonna cheat. So good, I love Tess. Don't tell my cat. I won't tell your cat. I won't. Wires and cables. Oh my. XMD has is a tool kit has a lot of really great brushes that's completely free when you have the subscription just wait until like there we go knots wait until like it's christmas time and they throw the membership away for like 15 bucks let me make sure that That should be pretty cool. I'm going to type in XMD because it's one of their brushes. There we go. Double click this brush. 
Yeah. Are you are you are you gonna are you gonna do what I ask you to do? Okay. So what I want to do is not working. So what we're going to do is actually select this right here, and we're gonna go ahead and delete hidden. And then what we're gonna do is actually go to is it under it's under stroke. I have a shortcut for it, but I want to show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna be framing borders. So I believe that's under, come on, give me a second, curve functions. There we go. So stroke curve functions. And we're going to frame mesh border. There we go. I'm going to touch that right there. There we go. That's what I want. Just like that. Uh, like took forever back up for a second I think what I want to do is actually go to rush let's put this over here you got me th I'm thinking right now modifiers There we go. No, that's actually not tied together. So try rush, but want to points. Okay, that should be fine. That should be fine. Let's take that. We can actually make that work. Oh, interesting. Okay. We're gonna do is actually you know what let's take this just hide all this we have this guy right there let's go ahead and actually split hidden and we have the rope make it look like one piece got a crash brother super happy for you in the full-time geek man that's awesome thank you my cases have a good one enjoy your night's sleep okay what we're gonna do is auto group that real quick oh that's actually not a good idea let's leave that like that pull this out Make this one polygroup. We'll make this another one. There we go. That's good. That's gonna be. Lit. And then what I want to do is actually come down, modify topology, and I can weld points together. Just in case. Okay, we got that. Let's actually hide these. Let's call this uh, 
a rope frame, so let's move that. I'm only going to be streaming for a few more minutes, guys, because it's getting late. Kind of wanted to get this situated. Take this one, let's fill that object. Actually, no, let's do that. Okay, and then we're going to call this rope. Now I like to torture myself and do things the wrong way, but I think it looks better ultimately. I'm setting up each and every one of these and then the plan at this point is basically end up taking one like this bring it pretty close come over something like this Get something more like that, so they look they look kind of cool. Though. Look at awesome, bro! Love the detail. Hey, dude, take on Sarachi. What's up, brother? Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Have a great night, brother, if you're going to bed. We could do the same for this guy. So we could take this one right here. Let's go ahead and take the one. Let's duplicate it. I'm going to go ahead and delete hidden. Frame border. It's actually what we could do is we can, if our brush gets messed up, you can always hit reset all brushes. Hope to catch you if you stream. Uh, hope to catch the stream if you're on tomorrow. I probably won't be. Actually, I do gotta call it a night, man. My eyes are hurting. I gotta get some rest. Yeah, man. We're just gonna take some, get some sleep, man. We're gonna be going here in two seconds, too. Um, but if you guys ever wanna reset your brushes, just do that. Blah, 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 blah. We're gonna make this one tweak, and then we are also gonna call it a night. Okay, let's do something. That's just half there. We're just gonna call that one right there. Complete hidden. We're gonna do this one thing, and then we're also gonna call it.
No, let's back this up a second. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Hello, Crafting Canvas, how you doing? Photo Gut, how you doing? Crafty Raid, thank you so much for the raid. I am going to be, unfortunately, getting going here in a second. But thank you so much, I appreciate it. How are you? Like this guy. Actually, go ahead and kind of move this this way. Detail is going to be minimal on the stretch. Let's actually. It's okay. You're good? Yay. Yay! That's awesome. this rope here for a second. Okay. You can actually go ahead and kind of mask this spot. Stopping that. You can actually... Right there. God. I was like, he's finally streaming must read. <laughs> I appreciate it, yeah. Yeah, I decided to just kind of do a fun little something different. Just jump on today. But I appreciate it so much. I'm just getting tired and I got work in the morning. Pesky work. So we're going to go ahead and do some of these real quick. What were you working on? You're always on the same stream. Oh, yeah. What were you working on? You got to. Haven't done my spicy homework. <laughs> I need two head sculpts. Do it. I can't wait to see what you do in his course. That's going to be so awesome. You're painting a trick or treat Sam Yoda mash, the first sculpt I ever painted. Ooh, so cool. That sounds like fun. You can always borrow one. <laughs> yeah, Redesca's been on it for a while. at the bottom like this part push this forward forward we should turn some of these around so they don't look to be the same thing mirrored a hundred times you know like the exact same thing on the other side. And these guys aren't expert builders, so, you know, I feel like we can get away with a lot. There. 
That's where we're gonna land today. All right, I'm gonna go bye, 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 bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, let me finish this one thought real quick. I think I said that already, didn't I? But you guys know. That. This one. Oh, no. We're going to be putting a few of these in the middle, too, so. <laughs> it's too late. He's ran away. Bit. I'll basically have to turn around and make each one of these uh, their own little their own little bits, but you get the idea. Was your first head sculpt scary? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, um, I was a bit scared to sculpt pretty much anything for the first couple of years. I panic on every project. I don't know why, because, you know, it's like I really wanted to, you know, I really wanted to, to do what I do. Um, but I feel like everything... I was trying to achieve uh, ultimately I was like yeah uh, this is what I want to do I'm gonna do it so I kind of pushed through that feeling a bit but for some reason it definitely was like terrifying the first few projects actually oh I meant boo scary <laughs> my head skull scared people no I never had that reaction I, I get other reactions like, ooh, that's interesting. Why'd you do that? Of course, I do pick characters that are, you know. Got your night sculpt now. Nice. Yay. And it sounds like you're enjoying yourself. And that's all that matters. That's That's what matters. So... Keep doing what you're doing, because it is working. I'm so glad you're with uh, Spicer, by the way. He'll take care of you. 
possible do. Okay. All right, it is getting late, guys. So here's where we're at. As a, as a nutshell right now. Where this guy's at, so. This is this guy. In all of his glory. I think I'm gonna actually render him out real quick. Uh, because I think he's beautiful. I love him. Let's actually do something real <laughs> Let's do something real fast and be here for another hour, right? <laughs> um let's do okay, this might freak the stream out for a second. We're gonna do ambient occlusion. We're gonna cheer an occlusion volume on. Be my friend! We are friends. And sculpts have never scared anyone. But they definitely look like they were born with a mutation or something. Go deeper red. We're gonna hide that real quick. I'm gonna fill object a little bit. I go kind of a uh, maybe a little bit more purple, or blue. Yeah. How cool he is. Okay. So yeah, this is where we're at. So we got this dude right here. Super adorable. And then of course, we have this guy as well that we're working on. So, so lots to do, lots to do. I like how I made him look a little small like he's looking at him. <laughs> but okay guys, we are going, we're, we're going to call it for the night. Thank you guys for stopping by, I appreciate it. Don't forget to jump into my Discord, hang out with me, because we are friends. I want to see your work. So let's copy and paste it. There it is. All right, guys, that is it. Which, which wants me to stay? There we go. All right, that is it, guys. I will talk to you later. Have fun. I'll see you later. All right, guys. Bye, 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 bye.